What's up guys? It's Sobe TV. I have another amazing video for you. Today's video is going to be a resource guide for the Heart Oasis. I'm going to show you where to get some different minerals, how to find them, uh, kind of what they look like, describe what they look like, and tell you where you can get them. Um, so let's go ahead and dive right into it and we'll get started. Uh, the first thing I want to cover is cotton. Cotton is one of those things you use it a lot. Uh, it's very good and very easy to make for nomad cloth. You know, in the medium zones, it was almost impossible to make. It was a pain in the ass more so to make nomad cloth. So you, what you're going to want to do is uh, you can start collecting cotton. And cotton usually grows in the, you know, the green areas. And it looks like a white, fluffy plant. It's a little plant. It's really small, and you have these little white puff balls on it you, you can't miss it when you run into it you'll be like oh that's cotton it looks look like it that's cotton use a sickle on it you'll get more try to use a better quality tool or an upgraded you know sickle so you can get more cotton off it you know that's the best way to do it uh the next thing i want to cover is worm silk worm silk usually grows on like the, on, well always grows on the trees and you can also later get it from the worms which aren't out yet typically i find my worm silk right around the outer edge and you just run up to the tree and you push F. You can, can't miss it because you'll see like shit on the tree right when you when you run by. You're like, oh, what the, oh, that's worm silk. So you can tell, you'll know right away when you see it. It grows on the, grows on the trees. Uh, the next thing I want to cover is ceramic shards. You're going to use ceramic shards for a lot of different things. Uh, some of your weapons and tools that you're going to need need ceramic shards. Uh, t here's one like the advanced pickaxe. I think the upgraded hatchet uses it. So you're going to use a lot of uh, ceramic shards, uh, and you're definitely going to want to get that soon. So two ways that to make ceramic shards, you can either kill rupus or you can use clay in the furnace and get ceramic shards. Now, if you're going to want to do it with the furnace, obviously you're going to have to unlock the furnace, and then you can uh, get it, but the only way to get clay is you have to unlock that too, which I'll come to that in a second. So ceramic shards, you need to get it from Rupus, or you can unlock the furnace, and you can put clay in it, and that will give you ceramic shards. Very easy. The next one I want to cover is tablets. Okay, tablets. I kind of it's not really more so a resource, but I wanted to put it in this video because it's a little complicated if you don't know. Not really complicated, but if you don't know what's going on with it, you won't you won't understand it. So tablets, you can get tablets a few different ways. Well, not a few different ways. Uh, yeah, you can, I guess so. Uh, you can go to the Fabby, the ancient Fabby, the point of interest, or you can go to the one in the wild. Two different ones, okay? Now, the one in the wild, you only can do one at a time, and it costs less torque. If you go to the one at the point of interest, you can put four in at a time, and it costs a 1,000 torque, okay? Make sure you don't run out of torque. If you only put 500 or whatever in, make sure you don't run out of torque. You'll lose your shit. So go ahead and do that. Now you got three different types. You got a celestial, you have elements, and you have animal. And you use those to unlock your skill tree. I don't know why I always hit P when I do that. Uh, but you use the that's what you do to unlock your, you know, your upgraded recipes here. Okay. And what one of the ones I'm saving for is this big bad boy Titan. And I have literally 95. I'm almost there. Just just not there yet. Okay, so let me run over here and show you what they look like. It's pretty easy as I said. Uh, you can run over to the ancient fabric, the, the permanent one, you know, or you can go out in the wild and find one. But the ones in the wild, they, they, they're they really easy to spot. You can't miss them. You probably ran by them already and didn't know what they were. They have like a little circle concrete wall around them, and there's a little thing in the middle, and you can use that. And it's only a one-time use. So after you use it, it goes away, and then you have to find another one. So a lot of times I just go to the, the big point of interest one, because if you go to that and you put four in, a good amount of times I get at least five back. So I always just go to the point of interest when I'm doing it. Uh, the next thing I wanted to cover was clay. As I said, clay is super important. You can use it for your structures and you can also make ceramic shards. Now with clay, you're gonna have to unlock your soil excavator and to get clay. And it's pretty easy. Uh, Right here it is, and you'll notice with clay, you'll notice these big brown spots on the ground. I think we have we have one right over here, but you see how there's these big brown spots, and you'll notice it when you run by. That is clay, and you just throw the excavator on there, and you can get your clay out of those those spots. Uh, the other ones, feathers. You can get feathers from rupus. I don't really know 
uh, too many things to use feathers for. I can't even think of any offhand that you use feathers for. Um, but I'm assuming they'll probably come out with something more later for that. Uh, the one after that is tar. Tar you're going to use it for some of your other later recipes, you know. You're going to need it. Uh, I can't think of up. Uh, where is it at? I think your bombs and stuff like that or your fuel. One of these anyway. But anyway, you, to get tar, you need to get the furnace. And once you unlock the furnace, you can throw earth wax in there and it will create tar. You have to have the furnace unlocked to be able to get tar, okay? Uh, the one after that is sulfur. Sulfur is in, uh, a lot of times it's in the lakes. It's this big yellow thing and you can't miss it. It's a big yellow pool and it'll be coming out. It looks just kind of like what it does in real life, like real life, a little bit like big yellow thing sticking out and you use a pickaxe and you can get sulfur from that. Uh, blood turnips is the next one I wanted to cover. I don't know too many things to use blood turnips for. I think you just use it for potions right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, use it for the sinus destroyer potion, um, which you're going to need for some, some different recipes. I think you have to use the sinus destroyer to craft uh, some recipes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I'll get in another video with that later. Uh, redwood is the next one. Uh, redwood looks like this. It's over here, I think. Right here. Redwood. Now, redwood you get from the trees, and I believe you got to use the saw to do it. Um, you can unlock the saw in the one tree under the walkers. Pretty cheap to make. This one right here is not too bad. But this one here is expensive as hell. Um, so, yeah, you're going to have to lock it. You can put now the saw. You can put it on the stiletto. You can put it on the front. You can put it on the back. You can put it on a buffalo. If you put it on a buffalo, you can put two on the front, you know, and have two people farming away. The saw is really good. You can get quite a bit of mats with that. The next one that's kind of important is glass. Glass, you can use shattered fragments. You can turn shattered fragments into fragments. And why are fragments important? Because, again, they make your tablets. And you're going to need your tablets to unlock your better recipes that everybody wants. You know, everybody wants that Titan, which I'm almost there. I need five freaking more. Uh, and also, your user, you're going to start using your glass for, like, your other flasks that you need, these recipes and stuff like this. All these all these potions and stuff use glass so you're gonna want to get that as soon as possible uh, the next one I would like to cover is the Niberian mineral I believe you use some of this in your uh, weapons and you, you won't be able you won't miss this you use a pickaxe on it um, it's usually up in the mountains like up here I could literally probably run up here right now and find a uh, some Niberian minerals up here. Let me run up here and see if I can find some quick for you so you have an idea what they look like. And maybe I'll be able to uh, see something else and show you uh, what that is too also. So Niberian minerals, I believe it's for the one axe if I'm not mistaken you need that for. And it should be some right up here if I'm not mistaken. I don't see any up there. Of course I'm out of fucking water and I don't have any on me. Beautiful. So Niberian minerals, you'll see them up here. And I'm going to die in a second probably because I don't have any water. I'll run up there and show you in a second what that looks like. The one after that is obsidian. Obsidian you get from the lava pools, okay? So if you go to the lava pools, what you have to do is you have to use the hose to cool them off. So you, you got to unlock the hose. I don't know if I have that. I think it's over here. Where's it at? There, there it is. Where is that? Not throw a hose station. You gotta have the hose station to get obsidian. So you cool off the lava, and then you'll be able to get your obsidian from it. And you use obsidian in a lot of different things. So you're gonna wanna uh, get that. As, to be able to get that, you gotta get the hose station. Uh, magma flowers is another one you're gonna wanna get. You usually can get those right here in the center. You can pick them, you know, you can use a sickle, whatever you want to do. Uh, lava poppies is another one. I don't think I know anything offhand that I use uh, lava poppies off. But they just look like little red plants. I'll run over here and show you what they look like. Pretty easy to spot. Come on, yeet up, yeet up. I know there's some lava poppies right up here. I already can see them right there. See the red plants right there? These are what the lava poppies look like. Can't think of anything offhand that uses them. But these are the lava poppies right here. Uh, next thing on the list is a reinforced planks. Reinforced planks you're going to use in some of your harder recipes. 
you can you gotta unlock that first it's down where the hell is it is it in this one no it's under this one it's right here you gotta unlock the reinforced planks and you craft those at the uh fabby the ancient fabby so they're a little bit uh a pain in the butt to get you gotta have an iron ingot and 50 wood so you don't even want to get that yet because you can't craft it because iron ingots aren't in the game the only way you can get them is the meteor that happens and that's going to be a world event later so uh, we'll have to see how that works you're supposed to be able to get iron ore from rocks but that just doesn't happen you know, i don't know what they did they you know you're supposed to be able to use the uh, i think the master craft or the advanced and be able to get some iron ore at a random chance but literally i've never i don't know anybody that's gotten any lava ore from anything um, so let me go ahead and run over quick and show you what Niberian mineral looks like and see if I can find a quick uh, uh, warm silk for you and then we will be pretty much wrapped up. As always, if you have any questions or anything or not sure where to find something, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. Let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you out. All right, let me uh, drive over here quick and I'll show you what uh, both those look like and we will call it a wrap. So. God, I hate how slow this thing turns sometimes. And of course, there's about like 9,000 things in the way. My clan loves to fucking put everything in the fucking way. There we go. We finally got around here, so we won't have an issue. All right, so you can find, uh, as I said, you can find worm silk all over. It's usually on trees. So you just run up to a tree and you can grab your worm silk. And the only way to get it is to pick it off manually. You can't just get it, uh, you can't get the worms right now. So it's a pain in the ass to get. And the Niberian minerals should be right up here to show you. I'm pretty sure they're right up here somewhere. Right up here. Hopefully I don't fucking flip. And of course I am going to flip. So it's going to take me an extra second to show you this damn thing because I had to go and flip my damn walker. I hate this damn thing. I get to flip it all the time there. I guess I should have went right around the edge there, but I never learned my lesson. What can I say? All right, so I'm going to run up here quick, show you what that... Oh, right there's cotton. Bam. See the white fluffy plants right there? There's cotton. If you if you pick it, I don't think you can get any cotton if you pick it, but that's cotton right there. If I pick it, you won't get cotton. You, you get fiber. You got to use a sickle on it to get it. Good thing to know, because if, you, if you're picking it and you're trying to get cotton, you won't get cotton unless you use a sickle. So I'm going to go up here, show you what... I'm going to show you what the Nibiru mineral looks like. And I can, why can't I ever find some fucking uh, worm silk? It's always a pain in the ass to find worm silk. Up here is the Nibiru mineral, so you know. And as I said, I think you're going to use it for the one axe, if I'm not mistaken. And of course... Not gonna be in the over here because someone farmed it. But anyway, you you won't miss them because they're usually up in like on the top of the mountain, and they are those rocks. Usually they're right around here. I don't know why I can't find any right now. Of course I can't find any right this second. But yeah, if you can't, if you have any more questions, I can do another little video on it and show you what it looks like. Oh, and right here is down here is where our Right here is what the clay looks like. Bam. You see what this is? The clay spots. Right here. That you can you can clearly tell where you, you put the soil excavators. We have one set up. We have that shit set up right here. Um, other than that, guys, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment below. I wish I could uh, find a warm silk right here, but I don't see any on these damn trees offhand. And, uh, of course, it always doesn't want to uh, spawn stuff when I'm looking for it or someone takes it. But anyway guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will try to uh, answer it and let you know where to find it or make a little better video. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know uh, where to get stuff because some things are a pain to find and there's not a lot of information out. So leave a comment below guys if you have any questions feel free to stop in my stream i stream quite a bit it's uh it's sobe tv on twitch i will leave all the information below thanks see you later guys have a good day later